All right, everybody, I'm doing another Tansimat run. So the, the other one I think was making like reasonable progress, but construction was going kind of slowly. Um, and I think there was an important thing that I missed out on that I, I think is, is critical for the development of the Ottoman Empire. And it's this thing right here, corn laws. Um, so I, I think that between the fact that, so, so an important thing to note about Goa, they they removed the port when I was when I was fighting them um, last time, so I don't know what happened there. Why the AI is like deconstructing ports or whatever, but taking Goa is still useful from Portugal. But I, I think the fact that I missed out on Corn Laws and also like just wasn't developing our construction enough because I was focusing on that war. I think I think between that and what I've learned of about about AI behavior, I think I think it's worth it to to delay attacking um, for Goa until later. So. Let's let's do a new a new a new Ottoman run. So what are we doing with this new Ottoman run? Well, we're going to be trying to to get the healthy man of Europe. Um, that's going to be our goal. And we've got our Mahmoud II, who this guy, you know, he's a great leader now. This is going to be a lot easier than it would have been had he remained a slaver landowner. Um, we could immediately start doing stuff like landed voting. I wouldn't even hate that. Um, Alternatively, we could just start with going down into racial segregation. I don't hate that either. Yeah, we could do we could do that. Um, see, if we do landed voting, it's going to make intelligentsia happier, industrialists happier, and trade unions happier. But we don't have the empiricism technology yet, do we? No, we don't. So yeah, I think I think the way that we are going to handle this is still going to be the same way. It's going to be um, we're going to go to racial segregation instead and then we'll go into landed voting and somewhere along the line hopefully we are going to get um the grain laws effect which is going to allow us to switch into laissez-faire crazy crazy easily if if we can get lucky but we'll do racial segregation that's fine um we are bolstering the intelligentsia that's also going to be good um i don't think there's any other interactions down here that i need to be worried about um when you're when you're planning your government out Make sure that you have somebody providing you with legitimacy. Unfortunately, right now, that is the local governors. But as we build up the intelligentsia, hopefully they'll be able to be strong on their own. Um, we are doing the sick man of Europe thing. So we need, we've got great reform is needed, um, which is going to be really annoying for us, but not, not unavoidable because we can do that. We can do that. We can do that. You can never do this one. You can do that. You can do that. They, you have a lot of options for how to remove it, except for this one, which is impossible and nonsense. Just don't don't try don't try messing around with something that tells you you have to hit like a level five institution by 1845 in order to make it happen because you you literally can't. Um, but we do want to make corn laws happen. So in order to make that happen, we need to go in here and we need to encourage exports. And this is going to begin a corn law journal entry that may end up giving us a leader for our uh, local governors group that's in favor of laissez-faire, which. If you've never played with laissez-faire instead of uh, traditionalism, it's it's outrageous how much better it is. It's outrageous how much better it is. And so that's what we're going to be trying to get online early. Um, I still think it's necessary to... I'll let, I'll let a tick happen. If uh, line infantry gets picked up by tech spread, then I'll probably just leave... Um, yeah, well, we do need to do some construction, don't we? Yeah, we'll do level 5 construction sectors and... Constantinople, and we'll do road maintenance, and we'll do taxation on services. We are already bolstering. I could do, I could also do bolster petty bourgeoisie, but I, it just doesn't really accomplish a lot for us right now. Um, and taxing all of these fancy people things is generally going to be okay. Yeah, I'll tax porcelain. We also have trade routes set up for like weird stuff. Um, oh no, we don't have any of these trade routes, do we? Moroccan, so managed by the trade center in, in Marrakesh. So yeah, they're coming by and they're buying our tea. Awesome. Good, good, good. So yes, let's finish setting up our tariffs. We could even kind of do this as a separate, yeah, we should do this as a separate video. So I'm just going through right now and I'm making sure that I have, um, protectionary tariffs on all of the things that like, I absolutely do not want the AI trying to buy all of mine. Um, cause it'd be really annoying. Uh, yeah, I don't, I don't want you buying all my paper. 
The things that are going to be expensive for my pops are generally going to be my pops problem is how I'm going to classify them. Um, but like iron mines and wood and all that stuff, tools, I, I don't want my I don't want my economy crashing because the AI is buying all that that from me. Um, but if you want to come by and get the tea, you be my guest. I do not I do not need it. Same with the liquor. Do not need it. Um, I don't even care that it's going to make my standard of living go down a little bit because it's it's not a big deal. All right, so we did start getting lines, uh, line infantry spread. Um, we're getting empiricism spread too. Holy cow. And cotton gin, three for one. So we could potentially just go straight into atmospheric engine because we are getting cotton gin spread. Um, and I, I just, I suspect that we probably don't need to push for any of these other things. Per capita taxation would be really nice, but... Um, we're not going to find the political strength to do that just yet. So this might be, this might be a situation where we go ahead and research Atmo immediately. Sure, we'll try it. So it's, it's it is generally faster. Well, maybe we'll do Jin first because, because we can just rush through these and the more, um, previous researches you have, the less expensive these become. And that's, that's, that's generally why I just end up going for mechanical tools first, just cause like we've already done all these, the researches anyway, cause we just like need to do them. Oh, Hey, we can declare more, uh, more interests. Sure. Yeah. All right. I don't care about Crimea. That's not my problem anymore. Um, we could set up one in Indonesia. These interests are going to allow us to, to declare wars there, but it'll also allow us simply to, um, grab puppets. Um, and to conduct trade and diplomacy there. I think, uh, shoot, I think, I think we might need, um, I think we might need to just wait for some of the, the things to be built. Cause we do, we do kind of need ports out of the locations that we're attacking to get maximum value. Um, otherwise you're just kind of throwing troops at, at construction points that don't do anything. Um, yeah, you know what? We'll, we'll, we'll do, we'll do. We'll do Grand Columbia. That's fine. And we can do uh, improve relations, improve relations, antagonistic and belligerent. Okay, well, who else? Who else could we be potentially improving? Yeah, let's just improve these guys for now. It's not that important to, to improve the relationships of these these guys, but it it's fine. We could also make Tunis into a puppet. I wouldn't even hate doing that. Yeah, okay. That's fine by me. Um, do we have any way to recruit us? Oh yeah, we do, cool. Um, so I like recruiting another troop, another general here. So that way if we need to do a, a small fight, we can um, without it being like 10,000 troops that we, we marshal for no reason. <laughs> Is anybody else going to join? I don't think so. We'll add more reps, though. Drafting dimmies. All right, so we will, um, we will gain a couple of radicals, unfortunately. That is something that is going to happen, kind of no matter what we do. And we are building. Okay. And Customonu, we can build there as well. Um, we could import some more cannons, but I just, we're not going to be fighting these guys for very long if we're fighting them at all. Um, yeah, we'll just send them down there. It's going to be faster to just capitulate them this way because they might just, they might just back down. Uh, yep, they did. They just backed down. All right, cool. So we now have a puppet form of um, Tunis, which is going to make a, a fight against Egypt a little easier. And now we need to decide: are we are we going to go ahead and puppet Oman? Would anybody would anybody intervene if we puppeted Oman? Because we can't. Again, we can absolutely fight um, Portugal and stuff. It's just like it kind of depends on if it's worth it or not. I think generally speaking. Probably not is the answer. Yeah, you know what? I don't mind puppeting Oman, um, especially if if nobody else gets involved. 
And we will mobilize you as well. And now, now we're going to need to import some more cannons because we are dramatically increasing the cost there. Uh, we have enough. We have enough convoys that I'm okay doing that. Yep. So we are still working on building up a balance. We're working on building up a construction sector. Um, the construction sector is going to be increasing the demand for wood and for fabric. So we can't just build up a construction sector like indefinitely, but we can build it up for a while. Um, resources, iron mines. So right now, Thrace has 18. Um, so we could do Bosnia, Skopje. There's just not a lot of... Uh, okay, Erzurum and Trebzon. So, what is going out on out here? You have lead. Okay. Well, we probably are going to build in Erzurum then. Especially, yeah, we'll build in Erzurum. That's fine. It doesn't matter that there's going to be... Oh, Oman backs down. Cool. Yep. Alright. Well, we, we've... Uh, the Ottoman Empire has expanded. And this is on this is on Harsh Aggressive. Um, it's just that, that the AI understands that, like puppeting is not necessarily a, a game over and so they're not necessarily gonna fight you a hundred percent of the time um i could fight oyo i wouldn't even hate doing that venezuela what nobody is gonna defend you is that true if nobody's gonna defend you then i might be i might be interested in just puppeting venezuela or new granada or both um, they are not in the right, uh, air quotes, right um, heritage group. Racial seg segregation is going to allow us to tolerate everyone in the same heritage group, which is the Middle Eastern heritage group. So getting Persia puppeted would be really helpful. Um, but I don't think we can do that until we have um, cannons and everything fixed. Um, but we have Oman now. Is Trucial States... Yep, they are still a protectorate. We could just annex Nejd. Um, conquer state. Yeah, I mean, I just like none of those resources matter that much. That's the other thing that you want to like think about is how much how much do you gain from taking control of this? And most of the time, not enough is is the answer. All right, so we can do Sulu. Um, that wouldn't be bad. I'm just looking for ways for us to conquer uh, bits and pieces out here without necessarily starting a war um, with a major power. Yeah, let's take an Aceh treaty port. I, I don't hate I don't hate a treaty port in, in Indonesia. I think they're pretty strong. I think they are pretty strong. We will mobilize you. We'll mobilize you. Because they're coming from the closest. They're coming from over here. Aceh is going to begin... And we, we do have some infamy now, so we could even potentially stop um, stop improving relations with everybody just to, to burn a little bit of infamy off. But I'm I'm not I'm not gonna I'm not gonna world conquest with this. I'm I'm doing I'm doing the healthy man of Europe, right? That's our that's our goal is to do the healthy man of Europe. Um, and so what we what we're trying to do is we're trying to make sure that our economy is is rocking and rolling. I'm gonna demand War reparations and if if we get to like here and they haven't backed down i may even add puppet um but i'm not i'm not like super inclined to to add anybody to this war unless unless they're doing anything annoying don't in ah, you involved the dutch east indies of course you did of course you did uh yeah all right sure You want to be our friends, Great Britain? You want to help us? I'm not going to become anybody's protectorate. That that might be allowed in in somebody's personal personal goal file, but not not for me. I think that that that's that's not good. That's that's evil. That's evil. You can't do that. All right, so we are fighting now against um the wow, the Dutch East Indies. Oh, Aceh back down. All right, cool. <laughs> that is that is the way. That is the way you, you threaten these wars and everyone gets everyone starts pulling everybody in. And that's why I don't typically um, recommend adding a whole bunch of uh, demands all, all at once, because you, you can end up with a bunch of infamy with nothing to show for it just because everybody surrenders. Um, but that's OK. That's that is a OK. I'm going to go ahead and add one in Ethiopia. 
And I guess we'll grab um, Sind next. Is is that is that a reasonable target? Are you, what what is your diplomatic situation? Maybe, maybe. But yeah, let's 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 pick that up in the next episode of uh, this is this is gonna be the actual time to mount run. I'm just gonna I'm just gonna play that tonight. Um, I feel like I've made enough enough academy videos. You guys know how to play this game. Now I want to play some too. Okay, that's Walker. Take care.